Hello BookTube. We have mail. Get more mail. Another three packages. And once again, just like yesterday, uh, all three packages are from publishers. Not from uh, from you. <laughs> Not from even indies. All from major publishers. I would say that it gives me hope that maybe uh, this the mail is going to restart. That would be wonderful. I would love that so much. But... You only have to take one look at the news for... I mean, the reason that the mail stopped was because of this pandemic. And you only have to take one look at the news in America to know the direction the pandemic is heading. And it's not a good one. So, who knows? <laughs> who knows what will happen? Uh, all right, so what have we got here? Uh, okay. Uh, an excellent cover and an excellent title. Both of those are kind of rare. This is slated for October... So it may it may come out in October. It's let's see. It's going to be a twenty-five dollar hardcover in in early October. Uh, let's see. Uh, this is at night. All blood is black, by David Diop. Or Dio or how, how, I'm going to say Diop. <laughs> and at night, all blood is black. Of course, you will all already know <laughs> from having read Red Dragon by Thomas Harris, <laughs> where the serial killer Hannibal Lecter. The investigator, Will Graham, is consulting with Hannibal Lecter about why the serial killer that is rampaging through the suburbs uh, chooses houses with big, fenced-in backyards. And Hannibal Lecter mentions to him, well, have you ever seen blood in the moonlight? It appears quite black. If you're, if you wanted to go outside covered in blood, you'd want privacy. <laughs> so I'm not, I don't know that this author has ever read <laughs> Red Dragon, but it brings that to mind for me. So let's find out about this author. Uh, let's see here. Uh, this is translated from, I, pre I presume, the French by Anna Moskovitz. Alpha Niade is a Senegalese man who, never before having left his village, finds himself fighting as a so-called chocolat soldier with the French army during World War I. Oh, is this historical? Uh, when his friend Mademba Diop in the same regiment is seriously injured in battle, he begs Alpha to kill him and spare him the pain of a long and agonized death in no man's land. Same surname as the author. Uh, unable to commit this mercy killing, madness creeps into Alpha's mind as he comes to see his refusal as a cruel moment of cowardice. Anxious to avenge the death of his friend and find forgiveness for himself, he begins a macabre ritual. Every night he sneaks across enemy lines to find and murder a blue-eyed German soldier. And every night he returns to base, unharmed, with the German's severed hand. At first his comrades look at Alpha's deeds with admiration, but soon rumors begin to circulate that this super-soldier isn't a hero, but a sorcerer, a soul-eater. Peppered with bullets and black magic, this remarkable novel fills in a forgotten chapter in the history of World War I. Okay, <laughs> tell me you're not fascinated. I want to read it. I, I don't think, as short as it is, I don't think that I will. I think I'll hold off until the autumn. Uh, but that sounds great. Uh, so who is this person? Who is uh, David Diop? He was born in Paris and raised in Senegal. He's the head of the Arts, Language, and Literature Department at the University of Pau, where he re his research includes such topics as 18th century French literature and Euro European representations of Africa in the 17th and 18th century. And this is his second novel. Okay, well, I'm, I'm sold already, so I'm on board. That's great. Uh, I, I, don't think, I don't think I will do this right away. As tempting as it is, I don't think I will. Uh, a little too much uh, territory between now and then. Uh, but let's let's see this next one. Uh, no, what have we got here? It's a mass market. That could be a romance. <laughs> Romances are always welcome. Ooh, it is a romance. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh my. Okay. This does not look like uh, the uh, Regency romances of which I am so fond. Here we have an inconvenient duke <laughs> with Paul Marin on the cover. But I don't think that's this. This is called, I think we saw this already, this is called Flame, a Dark King's novel by Donna Grant. With a, those are pectorals on the cover. Those are clavicles and pectorals on the cover. Steve disapproves, Steve does not disapprove. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, so this continues the series where, whether readers are longtime fans or they're new to the series, they'll be quickly swept up by Donna's scorching and sensual Dragon Kings. 
Living among the Dragon Kings, Cain has spent lifetimes learning to distrust, distrust both mortals and fae. He is a warrior born, and every instinct demands that he fight to keep his own kind safe. But when a fringe member of the Dark Fae contact the, contacts the kings with an urgent warning, Cain is torn for the first time. How can he trust this beautiful creature when resisting his primal attraction to her is battle enough? Okay, so romance, definitely, but supernatural romance, which is uh, a little off the beaten track for, for yours truly. <laughs> My beaten track with romance is not as wide as it could be, though, so I, and I've read some of these, these kinds of books before, so I will give it a try. <laughs> Thanks to Sarah at Steeped in Books, I am reading more and more contemporary cowboy romances than I ever have before. So what's a, a battle-born fae here and there? <laughs> and then the last one, and then we'll be done. Uh, let's see here. Because there's no reason why every video has to be 30 minutes long, right? Uh, let's see, let's see what this next one is. Uh, what fell here? Oh, a key. Uh, what have we got? Oh, okay. All right, this is a finished copy. Uh, right, well, I don't need that. Uh, let's see what we have here. I think we saw this already on this channel, but now I get to see what the author looks like. And he's young. Okay, uh, the author is Carlos Fonseca. This is translated from the Spanish by Megan McDowell, and this is Natural History. This is the finished copy of Natural History. And there is our author, uh, who was born in San Jose, Costa Rica, and spent half of his childhood and adolescence in Puerto Rico. Uh, he teaches at Trinity College, Cambridge, and lives in London. Uh, I think we saw this book already. It has blurbs, uh, a whole bunch of... of, uh, of Spanish language authors. Uh, let's see here. Uh, okay, why well, are you already told me his story? Uh, as the novel begins, we meet a Puerto Rican curator from a New Jersey natural history museum who, some years prior, had struck up a relationship and collaboration with a renowned and mysterious fashion designer, now deceased. As the curator sifts through the designer's papers and his memories of their relationship, he begins to piece together her family's remarkable story. From there, the novel skips decades back in time to introduce us to a young Israeli photographer who, drawn to the idea of Latin America, sets out on a voyage across the Atlantic to the Americas, where he falls in love with a glamorous New York-based fashion model. Same person, obviously. Uh, Fonseca immerses us in the world of 1960s and 70s New York City, where the photographer and model flit from uptown society to downtown Bohemia, plunging themselves into the drugs, radical politics, and outre spiritualism of their era. We follow them to the Latin American jungle uh, as they search for a child seer who is supposed to have foretold the end of the world. And returning to the new millennium, we meet the fashion model again, remade as a reclusive conceptual artist and facing trial in Puerto Rico on grounds of having cost the stock market millions of dollars as a result of her art. Okay, I think I have an advanced copy of this, and I haven't got to it, but I, I seem to remember uh, looking into it months ago and thinking, that sounds interesting. So, so that's the, the general trend here, and it's all fiction. Uh, and all of it sounds interesting. All of it sounds like stuff I want to dig, dig right into. I think the only one that I actually will is Flame, uh, because I have a feeling this is, I have a feeling this is out already. Did we, did we see the date on this? Yeah, this is out already. Uh, so it'll be this, and then Natural History, which comes out in a week, I think. It doesn't have a, a pub sheet. Oh, yes, it does. Uh, it does have a date on here? Uh, Mid-July. Okay, so that's an order right there. That's the order that I'll do these in. I'll do uh, first the romance novel, and then Natural History. And I'll wait on, uh, on At Night All Blood is Black. I'll wait on that for a while. But it's, uh, that's the mail hall, and it's all fiction. And three different formats, hardcover, trade paperback, and mass market. So, uh, not bad. <laughs> Certainly, I'll take it. Uh, so, that's it. That is, the, that is the mail for Wednesday, and we will uh, hope that the streak continues. <laughs> I will just hope the streak continues tomorrow. That would be great. Uh, so, I'll wrap this up, and we'll see each other then. <laughs> Thank you, BookTube.